Hello. Today on ATP Report, we are going to discuss the bizarre and almost incomprehensible focus of the Democrat Party in America on impeachment over all other issues uh, facing the American Congress and the American people and try and figure out what the heck is going on in Washington. There are a number of key issues that the Congress is ignoring and all of them happen to be ATP's five core issues, which I will review with you now. First, radical Islam is approaching catastrophic levels of terrorism around the world, attacks coming weekly all over Europe, Asia, Central and South America, and nothing in the press, nothing in the Congress about it. Number two, Iran is exporting terror all over the world, profoundly lately against their chief rival, Saudi Arabia. In a massive drone and missile attack, they took out half the oil production facilities in Saudi Arabia, and these attacks followed up um, normalization of bizarre anti-tanker attacks throughout the Persian Gulf, with, according to Iran, more to come. Number three, homegrown terror in America happens weekly. There's either an attack announced or an attack foiled by somebody that got radicalized and wants to destroy non-Islamic America. What has Congress said about it? Nothing. What has Congress done about it? Nothing. Number four, the U.S.-Israel relationship is as strong as ever in the Congress with the exception of the wildly anti-Semitic, anti-Israel, anti-Jewish squad. They should be condemned on a regular basis by the members of their own party, and yet, for some bizarre reason, they are not. And number five, the anti-Semitic BDS movement grows daily across America on college campuses from coast to coast. Congress made one resolution about it that was so watered down, it was almost worthless. What is Congress doing about it? Nothing. So, what is the top priority of Congress today, you're probably asking yourself? Well, it's not the five issues of ATP, and it's not immigration. Uh-uh. The economy? No. Job creation? No. A new health care plan for America? No. Today, the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, has committed the Dems in the House to their mission for the rest of this term in Congress and probably right through the 2020 elections. And that means impeach President Trump by any means necessary. I have two words of advice for any Dem who happens to be watching this ATP report. You ready? Big mistake but I'm not sure they're gonna to listen to Barry. So why do I call it a mistake? Here's my quickie list. The impeachment movement of the last year failed when the impeachment designated hitter, Robert Mueller, he struck out at the plate. There was no collusion, there was no influence, there was a big nothing. Impeachment probably should have gone away on the spot, but it just went to sleep. And now, several weeks later, it's come back even though a majority of Americans are against it, it's not put to bed. The Dems have pivoted to their next treasonous action by President Trump, the high crime of a conversation with the Ukrainian president. Here's what happened, starting with the backstory. It's important to understand this. Vice President Joe Biden went to Kiev to help the new government. You have to fight the cancer of corruption. But then, something strange happened. Just three weeks later, a Ukrainian natural gas company, Burisma, accused of corruption, appoints Hunter Biden, seen here in their promotional videos, to their board of directors, paying his firm more than a million dollars a year. Hunter, a lawyer who had just been discharged from the Navy Reserves for testing positive for cocaine. Mr. Hunter Biden. He had served on other boards, but had no known experience in Ukraine or natural gas. We went to Kiev and found even among Joe Biden supporters in Ukraine, Hunter's hiring was troubling. 
How do you judge what Hunter Biden was doing? I think that Hunter Biden did a very bad thing and he was very wrong. He allowed his name to be abused. So what had happened, Hunter Biden, Joe's son, had flown on an official trip that the vice president was making to the Ukraine with his dad. He ended up making a small fortune after getting himself appointed to the board of a Ukrainian oil and gas company that he had no experience with, in fact, had never done anything in the oil and gas business. They wanted him, apparently, for his influence on his father. The company was later being investigated by the state prosecutor, and wrapped up in that investigation was why was so much money going to Hunter Biden, and what was he doing in exchange for it? What did Joe Biden do? Watch in his own words as he shockingly confessed and described to what he did in front of the national media. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid. Wow. So Hunter Biden stays with the company. Joe Biden shuts down the investigation of that same company. Hunter keeps his money. And Joe Biden releases a small fortune to the Ukraine right after they have shut down the investigation of his son. That is a quid pro quo. That breaks a lot of laws in the United States. A few weeks ago, President Trump, in a conversation with the president of the Ukraine, suggested that the Ukrainian government ought to look into the Biden and Biden father and son deals and the subsequent cover-up. According to the president, he asked for nothing in return. The transcript of that call was just released. It supports what the president said. He asked for the Ukrainian help into an ongoing investigation in the United States. And this is a scandal? He promised nothing in return, but this has now become the new Democrat call for impeachment. Literally that. I think this new push for impeachment will have three consequences. One, Trump will probably be impeached in the House. Number two, then the trial goes to the Senate. The Senate will not convict. A two-thirds majority which is what, 67 members of the Senate must vote to convict. The Senate is a majority Republican venue. There's not a chance on the planet they will vote to impeach Trump and convict. And besides, a president has never been convicted since the country was started. It ain't going to happen now. So third consequence, Trump will be reelected because of this. Why? Well, a new poll finds a majority of Americans do not favor ousting President Trump from office. 37% say impeach. 57% say he should not be impeached, according to a brand new poll just released this morning. The poll was conducted from Thursday through Monday of this week as details were emerging about President Trump's conversation with President Vladimir Zelensky of the Ukraine. And in that conversation, Trump acknowledged, he said, Zelensky should investigate former Vice President Joe Biden and his son. The transcript backs him up. Americans want their government to solve problems, the problems of the country and its citizenry, not to hate on Trump 24-7, regardless of whether it's because of the Russians, that one's over, or the Ukrainians, that one just started. So at this point, you can plan on Trump winning again in 2020. And I predict Biden's run for office is going to be sunk by this unintended Democrat torpedo that hits Biden instead of Trump. Thanks for joining us on ATP Report. Please subscribe to ATP by simply going to our website, americantruthproject.org, which you can do the simply find Barry.com trick. You'll go right to it and sign up there. Or our new service, text TRUTH, the word TRUTH, to 88202, and you will be automatically subscribed so you'll never miss an exciting episode 
of ATP Report or any of our articles. Again, thanks for joining us today. I'm Barry Nussbaum.